back of the truck up. I'm here. I'm here and I stay. I never will. And I never will. I guess you and that gun deserve each other. Wait. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> the affairs of man are no longer my concern. the vibes in the room yeah. you know yeah. i'm proud of everyone i remember like shelly it's one of my favorite when she said you know what you can eat a dick we based like the whole episode around that i was like i don't know what the episode is i know there's vampires but you know what you can eat a dick is like the only card yes. on the board and then it says sexy pink fog question mark yeah and i'm like you're That's a trash vampire you're a trash vampire sexy pink fog you know what you can eat a dick and i was like we're done for today <laughs> <laughs> brendan <laughs> what yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am proud of, like, I'm proud of all the comedy, but, like, looking back, I'm also proud of all the, like, empowering things Winona said, kind of as a hero. Like, it was fun to see, like, I never give up and I never will was good. I'm here and I stay just became such a good touchstone for so many people. I like a lot of it. I really like Doc's speech in the final episode, where he just talks about finding your people and, like, how hard it is. Like, and that was, like, one of the only things I've written where, like, I wrote it once and it was, I was like, yep, that, that's it. So, mm. so no more. So. I mean, yeah, I, I would say the Nicole and Nedley speech at the end of Gnome Wife, after you've been doinking along for like 43 minutes and then it's like, cry, cry, cry. <laughs> but I did really feel like, you know, I came from a really horrible work situation into the Winona room, which was like the complete opposite. And so that speech of like everything good I have in my life is because I came back to the Ghost River Triangle was really my sort of like attempt to thank the show and you guys mm -hmm. for getting me out of that hellscape <laughs> and bringing me into your beautiful room and family. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what's one of your happiest moments from working on the show? When I threw up in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, Noelle threw up. Noelle laughed so hard on her first day she threw up in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> So, that can happen? I was so proud of making someone laugh that hard. I was like, oh, man. Even if it was, if it was performed, because you were so nervous. It was so was like, embarrassing. That was amazing. I was like, I'm getting fired or just like, no, I was like, here's a raise. My... <laughs> <laughs> two Plato's. Yeah. I didn't know that could I mean, happen. So, I don't know. I, I love, like, I was talking with Noelle. We were like, because we started on the same day, and it was like, I think you just reminded me of like the first moment where I was like, oh yeah, we're like home, or this is a safe space. Is when Shelly, because it was that first episode of that season, uh -huh. when Shelly said, I know you can eat a dick or whatever. And I was like, oh great, we can save the worst yeah. things ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and uh, I'm sure the moment we all got the push notification on our phone that COVID had started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. That was pretty great. That was yeah. Yeah. At least we were together. I we mean, my, I have so many good memories, but because it's the writer's panel, like, I do feel for you guys. So I've had so many good memories of with you, but also I think the first con you guys came to, and we all sat in the back with a giant life-size Monique, 
and watch the episode. It was Brendan's episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and just for you guys to hear the fans gasping and laughing and just like being it was like, great. you're a part of this and it matters and these people love it. All that hard work. That it was, was like great a until great the, just before the climax of the episode, my phone went off and my son was puking at his friend's house. Yeah, and yeah. I had to leave. <laughs> yeah, to a lot of mama use. stories. A lot of mama <laughs> yeah, stories this yeah, morning. Yeah. 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 He ate too much pizza. And just before my name cr came up on the credits, I was like, oh, I gotta go. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> But that was great. No, that whole experience was, was amazing. Because that's, you know, we've said this before, that like when you write a TV show, the thing you're doing, and by the time it goes on TV, is months and months, you know, months and months away. And then even when you're watching it, when it's on TV, you're not with people, you know, you see it on online or whatever. But like, that was one of the first times, you know, it's so satisfying to actually be with the real people who love it and see them and see their reactions and everything. So that was yeah. super satisfying. Mm -hmm. The actual happiest I ever was, was when we announced season four was coming. When I knew that that, that was the game we were going to play, we, you guys won. Yeah. That was a grind. Yeah, that was amazing. That was a grind. Yeah. 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 Thanks to you, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks oh, to yeah, you. Definitely. Yeah. But no one else who's not here, just you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Those people have photo ops? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys, front of the line. Yeah. Uh, this is a question from Jules at my dog's Snoopy. Ooh. This is for all of you. Which was harder to write, incorporating Mel's pregnancy or Shamir leaving the show? Oh, that's a great question. I don't think the pre I think the pregnancy was easy to write. It was more of just hiding hiding the ball. You know, like it was once we wrapped our mind around it, and I had the you know the trimesters up on the thing. Uh, it gave us all the story that yeah, gave I think energy. inevitably because of the you know, the history of the family and all that stuff and the curse and the, you know, passing it on from generation to generation, we were probably going to do that type of story. That's normally like a last season type of story, right? Yeah. And it was just, it forced our hand, but it gives you all kinds of like slam dunk, you know, storylines to, to, to go with. So I don't think the writing of that was that hard. No. Um, but, you know, just hiding the ball and it was, was, but you could speak better to the Shamir. No, no, probably. I think you're totally yeah. right. Yeah. Like, pregnancy is an engine, and you're like, I know the finale is she has to give birth, and we have to decide what to do with it. No, Shamir it's... slash dolls leaving was hard, for sure, because I knew no matter what happened, not everyone was going to be happy. That was, like, one of the examples where I was like, the fandom is not going to love this, but it has to be done, and it has to be done as respectfully as possible, and honoring everyone's wishes, like, both the fandom, the show, the character, and the actor. So that was a hard one. That was really, really hard, I think. And I was terrified about the blow back. But sometimes you gotta be a big girl and do it. Yep. It's a hard one to watch, yeah, we, too. We yeah. didn't want him to go, you know? <laughs> he, yeah. he was thinking, and like, he was, had every right to do what he was doing, but yeah. like, it was, I, I liked the love triangle between, you know, Doc yeah. and Dolls and all that. So it was, you know, it was something that was, I felt uh -huh. a little bit missing going, going forward. Yeah. yeah. But then it's, yeah, it's good though to think of things as opportunity. Like you're For like, sure. okay, this will, yeah. grief is something we haven't done. So yeah, it was hard. Now good question, Jules at snoopydog.com. <laughs> 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 uh, this question is from Lena at All For Lena. Ooh, Did so Mel impro improvise that Teddy Bear's Picnic song from the season 4B promo? Oh God. Because it's originally a Bing Crosby yeah. song from 1950. I don't know. Do you work for Bing Crosby? Incorporated? <laughs> Are you like you don't have with a money. lawyer? Yeah. Did you play me? Is that uh, a script, yeah. Kristen? Or? I bet knowing Mel that she improvised it. Yeah, probably. Oh, Kristen. Kristen might know. Oh, Kristen, do you remember? Okay. My my shoulders are going up like this. I know. Was it because it was a promo, right? Yeah. yeah. So because so we don't write the promos exactly. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I really. I don't even remember because typically, if you have any kind of music in a in a yeah. script that someone is going to perform, it is like a big deal, and you have oh, to go that through was clearances big, and stuff. Yeah, that was a big deal for Mambo Number yeah. Five because like Rudin slash Jeremy had to say the lyrics, but he couldn't really sing the lyrics. Like it's a real gray area. So um, I'm going to say it's Mel's fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not here. No, yeah. I'm kidding. All right. I'm going to let you all off the hook. This is the last question. If you have children in the room, cover their ears. They got to learn. They got to learn. Emily, in season four, the rating turned to TVMA, oh, yeah. 
which allowed for steamier content, AKA the stair sex, uh -huh. and stronger language. Mm -hmm. Exactly how many fucks did switching to TVMA allow you per episode? Oh my God. It was, it was three fucks. <laughs> Is it three? Thank God for Christmas. But I think it was like a sliding scale, so we could save up some of we our We saved fucks. up some fucks. We yeah, because we really yeah. We're banking. We always bank fucks. So you gotta bank fucks. We definitely save, save up some fucks for the finale. Yeah. Because of fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, not you, sweetie. <laughs> You're like, we need those fucks. <laughs> Tristan, like, put those fucks in the safe. So it's cumulative? You can. We pretended it was. <laughs> what are you gonna do? No. We didn't use any in that episode. No, so we did, it? though. We definitely saved them up for the yeah, finale. Yeah, we put them in a nice little fuck pile. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We could spell it differently, too. We were like, I put two Ks in this one. It's different. Yeah, That's yeah. Not yeah. That's like writing 10 and 11. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, like, exactly. oh, God, we can't yeah. fill it with fucks. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. So it was three fucks, yeah. Three fucks. Josh was a good ally, though, Josh at Sci-Fi. He uh, would occasionally push back on a fuck. So four of them. Okay. That's what, a good friend. That's friendship. What about the other words? Are there other words that are like how many times can you say shit? How many shit I think is unlimited. Is it? As unlimited with, shit. As in the world. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember I can't I can't remember which like any racial slurs which we would never do are obviously off the table. I can't remember I'm sure Kristen remembers yeah. it's a pretty funny list, but once you get to that rating you're pretty much allowed to do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, but it's also like maybe you can see like bottom boob, but not full boob. <laughs> like it was more like nudity, side mm -hmm. boob. Yeah, it's a half butter. Like you can see like the top third of the butt crack, but not. <laughs> yeah, the you can't imply third. that someone has a butt yeah. crack. In season five, yeah. we were gonna apply for full. Yeah, crack, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that was it. it was yeah. like that was yeah, our yeah. time. Yeah, the butt crack season. Yeah. Trade, some some butts. Trade some fucks for some butts. Trade some fucks for some butts. But it is funny in the editing suite because sometimes you do get a flash of something and you're like, oh, we have to cut around. Docs, whatever. <laughs> Use your imagination. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Was there anything that got sent back to you where they're like, this is too much, this? Um, I know that's really vague, but I think you know what I mean. Fun. And you fought back against it. Um, I can't remember if they, they were pretty good. So if they said you can't do that, I feel like we generally listen so we could do other terrible things. I can't remember, Kristen. I yeah. think there was some stuff we definitely like. Yeah. There, I think we I definitely remember. like mm -hmm. made some choices I where they were like, legally, you can't make fun of Duran Duran. And we were like, we're going to, or whatever. Like there was yeah. stuff like that. It was more like legal stuff. Mm -hmm. I do think there was one episode that had too many shits in it, too. Oh, yeah? And we changed them to, like, crap or Did something. We? <laughs> and we found creative ways to yeah. say shit. I feel yeah. like we'd never settle for crap. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. But, no, but it was pretty it good. Was pretty good. It was harder in season three because our mm -hmm. rating went to, like, toddler or whatever it was, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, you had, you, we had to teach math every episode, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, I can't remember off the top of my head. It was more like nudity, I think. We were pretty careful. Like, stair sex, I was expecting to get a lot of notes, and I didn't. <laughs> the notes were, keep going, and this also is amazing. Twitter went silent. That's all you got? I was like, did the feed go out? Did the feed get out? Nope. All right. Well, thank you thank very you much so for your time. Yeah. We hope you have a wonderful con. The writers, everybody. Come see us later if you want. We have all your favorite scripts, and then you can get these beautiful ding-dongs to sign them as well if you like, okay? One day only. One day only for these guys, so. Keep it. <laughs> Are you taking so, a Play-Doh for your yeah. children? <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, sure. We can take a photo, I think. We oh. have to do a photo. We get bring, to do a photo. Bring it in, baby. <laughs> From this really attractive angle. Oh, you were great. Yeah. Sorry oh, we're so bad at memories. That's right. Get in. You did great. Are you, you doing a bunch this weekend? Yeah. 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 Good. You're going to need me. <laughs> Hashtag three fucks. Yeah, hashtag all the fucks. <laughs>